Hi everyone, welcome to an Academy Neat English. I'm your biology educator, Ambika Sharma. So students, in today's video, we are going to talk about the Neat 2025 expected cutoff for the government medical college. Yes, so here basically we are going to focus on the rank as well and I'll tell you that in that particular rank, this will be the marks range. So students, when your when NTA uh, release your result, after that, right, it's not about your score, it's about your rank, right, because that rank is unique to each and every individual, right, so you have to focus on that rank and this is what we are going to discuss in this particular video so if you are getting good score very good all the best uh, I, I really wish that you people go to the medical colleges but if let's suppose if your score is not as per your expectation guys please do not get disheartened yeah it's obvious you are going to feel sad it's obvious you are going to regret for the days right and I'm not saying you will regret because you were not working hard maybe that day you were not able to perform well any reason can be there but it's okay it's fine right everything is fine now remember one thing life keeps moving and so you have to remember and so you have to follow okay so just keep moving right decide if you want to go for the need preparation again or even if you don't want to if you want to go for some other career options there are multiple career options there is nothing to worry about okay students okay so now let's talk about this particular thing so see first of all I will talk about the qualifying marks for the need uh, 2025 right and this is as per the official bulletin which is released by NT after your result so for the undeserved or EWS category it is 144 marks so what does it means that if in NEET examination if you are getting 144 marks so yes you can take the admission in private medical college because for taking admission in private medical college you need to qualify this marks so this is the minimum marks that you need to score and I'm not saying that everybody can afford the private medical college but if somebody can so this is the range here then for OBC 113 for SCST is also same undeserved PWD person with a benchmark disability 127 marks and here for everybody 113 marks right so this is the minimum marks right that you need to get to qualify this particular exam but are we going to get the admission if we will get the marks uh, like let's suppose in general category above 144 no we have to clear the cutoff and you know that this time the cutoff was quite low you can compare it with the cutoff of 2017 but yeah number of aspirants in comparison to that they, uh, they were more but remember one thing guys remember one thing this time even seats are more than right more than 2017 so this is something that you guys can keep in your mind now see here we know that rank 1 rank 1 holder is having 686 marks rank 2 is having 682 marks so basically if I talk about <coughs> the result this time so you guys can clearly see that nobody was able to cross even the uh, nobody was able to touch 700 marks as well because we know that the paper was unexpected the physics part was tough right even the biology was quite lengthy so students were not prepared for such type of paper so that is why you can see if exam was difficult right the cutoff was also low so these two things are always right inversely proportional to each other if exam will be easy the cutoff will be high if the exam will be difficult the cutoff is going to decrease so this is what you guys can see so this is the data and some rank like a student having rank 158 has 625 marks having a rank approximately 1600 marks so basically right top thousand students right top thousand students they have their marks uh, right in range of 686 to 600 just imagine so this time cutoff is low if you compare it with the last year you know that students they got 720 out of 720 720 out of 720 so basically those who were getting 600 marks they were not at all in the top thousand category we are well aware of it so if I talk about the rank 8000 approximately 560 marks and for 50,000 it is 502 like suppose if somebody is having 504 right so it is approximately like let's say you can say that he rank is 50,000 something so it is like that so you guys can get an idea of it okay you people can get an idea of it now if I talk about the expected the expected rank and the expected mark so see in 2024 again as I said I am just taking it like this right I'm not mentioning the exact rank here like I'm uh, taking the round digits here right so here you can see for undeserved category in 2024 the student having rank around 25,000 right got the government medical college for EWS 28,000 for OBC 25,200 for SC 139,000 so if you belong to these category and if you have right if you belong to SC or ST category and if you have the rank you know thousand or I would say 5,000 then definitely you are going to go, go uh, you will get a very 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 good medical college now compare it with 2025 so as per the cutoff what what we can see we can see that here this time right because of course 
25,500, right? This will be the rank. Those, like, this can be the closing rank here. This is the expected one. So that student will have the mark somewhere in between, you know, 520 to 530. Uh, uh, like, you can add plus minus, right? Plus minus 10. So uh, for EWA, it's 29,000, right? So 520 plus marks. Again, as I said, plus minus 10, you can consider. So for OBC, right, if your rank isn't in... Uh, uh, if your rank is around 20,000, 25,000, 22,000 or 26,000, definitely you will get the government medical college. And for the SC and ST, you guys can see, right, so this will be 1,50,000, 1,70,000 and this, these are the marks that you need. So this is the expected, this is the expected cutoff for what? For your government medical college. Of course, it varies state to state. There are some states where, you know, cutoff, it, it is high, right? So, uh, and in some states, it goes low. So, it depends upon your state as well. But whatever I'm telling you, it is as per your All India quota. Okay, so on the basis of that, and if I talk about the counseling date, my dear students, so counseling generally, if we see the trend, sometimes it starts within a month right within two months okay so this time because our result uh, came out just few days ago so you guys can expect that in soon the notification will be released for the counseling and you can expect your counseling uh, by the end of july right by the end of july they'll start this process by the mid of the july i would i would say okay so this is something that you guys can keep in your mind and if your marks are low and let's suppose if you are confused that are you uh, will you get the medical seat or not so you can do one thing you can right very carefully you can fill the counseling forms and still start your preparation if you want to go for the mbbs only but if you think no ma'am i want to go for other courses there are multiple options you can just check this channel you'll get the videos of other career options as well but if it is the mbbs only and if you think that you are too close and you want to give it a try so students we have something very amazing for you and that is our phoenix 3.0 batch which we are going to start from 30th of june students and trust me the batch is going to be amazing right this time even right if you talk about the biology not even the introduction each and every point even the theory even the summary even the exercise questions will be discussed in the batches okay so classes are on smart board they are already started they are going fine as well okay and uh, regular classes are there with surprise mcq practice so it's not like that that you can expect that every day ma'am is going to ask the question yeah i will I will random question before starting the class that students tell me this, tell me that. That type of things are there. That type of things are there. But surprise MCQ practice session can be any time. Every Saturday there is a discussion session beta where time management, other doubts, all the things will be discussed and catered and test is there after every 15 days. Right? After every 15 days you guys will get the test. The first test we... Uh, the uh, the first test that we are taking it is after a, a gap of for more than 15 days right because of some reasons but your test will be fixed after every 15 days there will be the test keep it in your mind so in the class itself beta for the biology as well i'm including everything possible right obviously we are not going to leave the ncrt we have to decode the ncrt right but in the class itself students are making the notes i'm sharing my handwritten notes as well okay so don't you worry <coughs> about the content or about anything you just join the batch and kick start your preparation and how can you do that go to our channel and even you can check the description box of this particular video as well right go to this part right description box and here you guys are going to get the link right for the subscription so if you want the modules the study material the hard copies of that you can go for iconic subscription but if you want the pdfs only you can go for plus subscription as well even students even if you are thinking that uh, if you are interested in buying two years ka course if you are in class 11th again we have the batches like that and what is the beauty here that if you enroll yourself in the plus uh, plus platform then you will have the access of all the batches that are running across an academy platform that too without any extra charges or something so test practice mcq practice everything will be provided to you so without any delay start your preparation so see you all in batches till then take care and if there is any doubt do let me know students thank you so much